You know, I have a lot of people come up to me and say, hey, you know, you always do unusual movies on badmovieguy.com, but what we're looking for is a movie about teenage girls who become zombies. Have you seen anything like that? Well, I hadn't until this week, but thanks to the good folks in Japan, I have now. It's called Stacy, and it's a zombie movie of a completely different flavor. Here's the story. Sometime in the future, something happens that causes girls between the age of 15 and 17 to suddenly die and then reanimate. They're infected with something called butterfly twinkle powder. And no, I, I really couldn't make that up. But this causes girls to become very happy just before they die. It's called near-death happiness, ironically. And after they die, they're called Stacy's. And they're not named for the first girl who died or anything. There's no one in the whole movie named Stacy. I think it's just one of those strange Japanese movie things. You pick a name, apparently with a dart, and it landed on Stacy this time. Otherwise, the movie might be called Angie or Betty. Who knows? And you can't just shoot these Stacys and be done with it. You need to chop them in 165 pieces. Why 165? Yeah. Again, I have no idea. I guess that's just as good a number as any. So after you kill them, you have to kill them again and again. So the government forms the Romero Repeat Kill Troops. And yes, that's Romero after George, everybody's favorite zombie creator. There are a couple of nods to past horror movies in here, but the most significant is the Romero mention. And there's also a chainsaw commercial for the new chainsaw. It's called Bruce Campbell's Right Hand 2. It's new and lighter to help you repeat kill those Stacy's in your life. This is one of those movies that's very hard to describe and that you really need to be in the mood for. It's part zombie movie, part love story, and part something else, and whatever that other thing is, I have no idea. But there's enough gore for the gore hounds, and there's enough Asian chicks for the pervs, and enough of a story to keep me interested. It's like nothing that I've ever seen before. There's the zombie aspect, the love story aspect, there's a mad scientist storyline in there too. Part Dawn of the Dead, part Day of the Dead, a little comedy, a little teen movie. This has a little bit of everything mixed into it. And while you might find yourself scratching your head afterwards, you're not going to forget Stacy anytime soon. I'm giving Stacy three out of four cigars. This isn't for everyone, but if you think you've seen everything, rent Stacy and then you'll realize that you really haven't. So until next time, when I'll still be trying to figure out how I can tell zombie teenage chicks from normal teenage chicks, remember, you can always find me eating indie movie brains over at roguecinema.com. And I'll be resurrecting new horror DVD releases every Tuesday over at fearzone.com. And I'll rise from the grave. No, 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 not the grave. I'll rise from my comfy chair and put another DVD in the player next Friday right here at badmovieguy.com. So until then, remember that the best movies are bad movies.